what's up y'all let's get a nighttime reading <laughs> how y'all feeling i hope you all are doing well i hope you all have an amazing day and having an even better night i'm chilling i was watching um american horror story i've been catching up on it and some of you may know most of you know that i love kim kardashian so i know that she's in the new season of american horror story and even though her role is not like the main character or anything like that i've just been um watching it because she's in it and because i watch all the american horror stories for the most part even though last season i couldn't get into it last season i didn't finish um the new york city one i didn't finish that one but yeah i've been watching um american horror story any of y'all been watching it if so what you think let me know don't spoil it for me if you guys have been watching it because I'm only on like episode three right now. Um, but I think there's only five episodes out right now, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm on episode three right now. But yeah, you guys, what's up? What's up, y'all? Oh, man. Feeling good right now. Feeling good. All right, let's get into a late night read. Let's see what's in the energy for you guys. Let's see what comes out. Let's see what's in the overall energy for y'all. Let's see what comes out. I don't know if I want to use this deck, though. Maybe not. Maybe not this deck. Yeah, no, let's use this deck. Spirit said, yeah, let's use this deck. Okay. I'm like, mm. I feel like I've been using this deck all, way more often than I normally do. But let's see. This is going to be a general message. You guys know all my readings are general, meaning that everything may not be for you. I'm picking up on multiple situations, multiple energies. Please come in and use your discernment wisely. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there. All right? Everything may not be for you. Take what it is and leave the rest. Let's get a late night read. Spirit, what's in the energy for the collective this evening, tonight? Well, it's not the evening anymore, <laughs> but y'all know what I mean. Late night reading. Spirit, what's in the energy for the collective tonight? What is it that they need to know tonight? Any messages for my collective? Anything that you want to tell them? Anything that they need to know during this time? Let's get three more shuffles for you guys. Five of Pentacles and a Nine of Cups. Some of you could be leaving something alone. You could be leaving a situation. Maybe leaving a person. But it looks like you're happy, though, with the Nine of Cups. Okay, emotional independence, feeling fulfilled. Some of you could have been dealing with a Virgo, or somebody here could be a Virgo, have Virgo in your charm. Also getting strong Leo energy here. I feel like somebody here is on the opposite side of the wheel in this situation. Or somebody could be receiving some sort of karma. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, somebody's leaving. Okay, somebody leaving. Somebody's traveling. Okay, safe travels to those of you that's leaving. Oh, we have another car stuck behind us. Ten of swords in reverse. I feel like someone's leaving a situation or leaving a person behind after a betrayal. All right. Yeah, they got that wheel of fortune in reverse again. They wanted to come out so bad. So somebody is receiving karma. What is this? somebody here is lying too somebody you know what somebody here is trying to avoid karma i got that message was it i don't know who it was i did the next 48 for each element earlier today i don't remember if it was for earth water or fire it was for one of them maybe air i don't know who it was but somebody run, trying to run away from karma and i said that in someone's next 48 message as well i think it may have been fire or water signs yeah probably water signs but somebody here is definitely trying to run away from some sort of karma here. Somebody here is trying to avoid karma. Yeah, somebody here started something and they wish they would have never did it. Somebody here did something they wish they never would have did. And they're trying to run away from their karma. <laughs> Excuse me. That's what I'm seeing here. That's exactly what I'm seeing here. Yeah, the moon card. Somebody here is trying to avoid justice. But justice is being served. It is. We have the justice card here in the upright. Justice is being served in whatever situation this is. Somewhere is trying to run. I'm hearing, there's nowhere to hide, baby. Nowhere to run. 
collected. This is somebody from your past. It's always a past person, right? But I feel like this is somebody from your past that you're not speaking to. Some of y'all could have blocked this person. You could have disconnected from them, stopped talking to them. All right. But this is someone that's being very manipulative during this time. The magician in reverse. Playing a lot of mind games. A lot of mind games. A lot of manipulation here. Somebody here is doing the most. This is out of bitterness. This is out of anger. Okay, I'm hearing anger, bitterness, jealousy, and rage. Okay, somebody here is doing mental magic on some of you. Okay, someone here is doing either mental magic on you or someone that's in your energy collective. And their goal is, is to confuse somebody. Okay, they're celebrating with other people too because they feel like they're doing a good job at this shit. Someone is trying to cause an illusion for either you collective or someone that's in your energy, someone that you could be dealing with or someone that wants to come towards you. But somebody here is doing some sort of magic on someone and the magic is supposed to make someone be very confused on what decision they should make. Okay, divine masculine, here you are, you're showing up as the emperor. This could be being done to you, five of wands here. Somebody want to fight you. Somebody want to cause conflict for you because you've left, okay? You've left them or you've left the situation behind. You've abandoned a situation, but you're protected, okay? You're protected, all right? I also feel like someone, someone here wants to make a love offer towards someone, but it's not going down. Somebody trying to take... Somebody here is trying to take somebody down. I feel like somebody here is trying to take a divine masculine down by any means necessary. Whatever we got to do. Whatever we got to do, we're going to get it done. Like, that's the energy this is giving me. And this is all because a divine masculine wants to make an offer, Ace of Cups. But whoever this, whoever this divine masculine wants to make an offer to, this person is showing up as the Queen of Swords anyway. So I feel like this Queen of Swords is very guarded, very closed off protecting themselves not really wanting to talk to anybody not wanting to be bothered not even wanting to be bothered by this emperor whoever this may be <clears throat> yeah this is a third party situation okay so there's an emperor here that got himself in a bit of a jammy jam he done got himself in a situation a situation okay a situation this emperor done found himself in a situation for real though, all jokes aside. And there's multiple people here behind the scenes working together to make sure that this emperor does not give this queen of swords an offer here with this ace of cups. But I feel like this queen of swords is trying to protect, protect themselves from this emperor for some reason. They don't trust this emperor. Yeah. Somebody here could be angry about some sort of money as well, some sort of finances. Yeah, a cycle's closing out here. Somebody's upset about someone's choice, someone's decision to make, uh, close out a cycle. And someone here is angry about some sort of five, of, uh, some sort of money here. Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Somebody here could have felt like something was taken from them, something was stolen from them, or something was promised to them and they didn't receive it. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, Ten of Pentacles reverse, and the Five of Pentacles in the upright. And they feel like whoever's leaving them stranded is now taking a leap of faith in a new direction. Somebody here is heartbroken. Empress, here you go, baby. Okay, shout outs to my divine collective. Divine masculine and divine feminine, you both are showing up in this reading. We have both the emperor and the empress here in the upright, okay? That's divine masculine, divine feminine energy right there. Empress, what's going on with you? Empress, I feel like you're in this queen of sports energy. You don't want to be bothered, okay? You giving me, like, I don't want to say attitude, empress, but you giving me, like, listen... I don't want no fucking body coming over here. Not even the emperor. Leave me alone. Empress, you in that energy, you want to be left alone? You know a lot of people are watching you. Page of swords in the reverse. You may feel like a lot of eyes are on you. Someone is watching you, Empress. There's always somebody watching the Empress. Empress, you are definitely a sight to behold. <laughs> What's this page of swords? Yeah. Whoever's watching you is unhappy. They want to know if you're unhappy as well, but you aren't. You aren't. <laughs> you and this emperor, nine, you and this empress, nine of cups energy. Somebody's watching to see if you're happy or not. Yeah, you happy, and you looking good too. You looking good. <sighs> the empress, the queen of wands, and the hermit. Yeah, you kind of like staying to yourself. Some of you could be spending a lot of time with yourselves. Or just a select few. But I'm really getting this energy that you're like, speak when spoken to. Out of sight, out of mind. Don't talk to me. I'm not saying much to you. Don't come for me if I'm not sending for you. Like, 
Empress, that's your energy, okay? Like, you're just real chill, real mellow, real calm. Yeah, I told you, you was happy. Somebody wants to know if you're happy. So, cross watches for the Empress. Yes, the Empress is happy. The Empress is straight chilling. The Sun card, the Hermit, the Queen of Wands, the Empress. And somebody here that really wants to know how you doing, this person is depressed, this person's sad, okay? Four of Wands in a reverse. Who is this person? Why are they sad, Spirit? Tell us about this person. Who is this person and why are they sad? Why are they so concerned about if the Empress is happy or not? <laughs> Somebody's so concerned here. Who is this in this Ten of Swords energy, Four of Wands in a reverse? Empress, I'm hearing that people are keeping secrets from you, but it's okay because the truth will soon be revealed if it hasn't already. And justice is being served for you. Somebody here is nervous about you knowing some sort of involvement that they had in a betrayal that was done to you. I'm hearing that somebody's nervous about you finding out the involvement that they played, the role that they played in a betrayal that was done. Ooh, and for some secrets are being revealed to you. All right, what's this? Um, Tell us about this person in this Ten of Swords, Four of Wands, Reverse Energy. This is somebody that want to give to you. They want to talk to you. I feel like you're very intuitive, Empress. You are showing up as a high priestess. I feel like you know something, okay? You know a lot. I'm hearing that you know exactly who's sad as well. You know who wants to know how you feel. You know who's watching you. You know all these things. It's like you already know. Whoever this is, they're going to talk to you. They're going to reach out. Somebody here is going to reach out. Someone here is going to attempt to reach out to you if they haven't already. This person is under judgment. They're getting a lot of karma here. This is somebody that wants to be on your side. It's like this person wasn't on your side. They didn't have your back. They played a role in like trying to cause you suffering and pain. But now that things have kind of like reversed and flipped back on them and they're getting some sort of karma here, they're under heavy judgment. It's like now this person wants to come your way. But this is somebody that y'all not talking to. You could have even blocked this person. Y'all not talking to this person. And this is somebody that needs help. They need some sort of assistance. I'm hearing that they need help. They need assistance. Okay, not advice. They actually need you to do something for them. They need you to help them out in some way. Yeah, this is someone that is in a nine of cups and a reverse energy. But this is also someone that's sneaky, very deceptive. And this is why they're going through a towel moment. Because this is a very dishonest, disloyal, untrustworthy person. Okay? Like, they really are. The Seven of Swords is here in both decks. Ten of Swords done came out three times. Okay? Because we got two Ten of Swords in the first deck I used. They both came out. And now we got the Ten of Swords in this third deck. This person is down bad. They're going through an extreme tower moment. But like I said, this is somebody that's extremely codependent. But they also someone that's very deceptive, very disloyal, dishonest, very untrustworthy. And this is somebody that wants to come towards you, but you're not talking to this person. You guys are not in communication. Yeah, you don't trust this person. Four of Wands in a reverse here. Some of you, um, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You could have strong water in your chart. Others of you, you could be a Libra, a Taurus, a Virgo. Um, and you could be dealing with any of the other signs I mentioned as well. Someone here has made a decision to divorce someone, to break up with someone, to separate from someone, to split up with someone. And whoever they have separated from, whoever they decided to part ways from, is now very mentally conflicted and wanting to see the person that has left them suffer by any means necessary. You will suffer by any means necessary. That's what somebody's saying here. Okay, King of Pentacles in a reverse, Justice in a reverse. Somebody here is very angry that somebody is not talking to them, somebody's not dealing with them, okay? And somebody here is like, I will get my leg back, okay? Somebody here is very vengeful. Somebody here has an unforgiving spirit, a very vengeful spirit. Somebody here is trying to see what are their options. How can they upset this emperor? How can they upset this empress? Okay, I'm hearing that somebody here has someone that's really upset with them. And it's not for good reason. Somebody here is just upset because somebody who don't want to deal with them anymore. That's literally what this is. Somebody is heavily burdened and weighed down with this Ten of Wands energy. Very mentally conflicted here with this Five of Wands energy. I'm getting here that someone's also suffering from some sort of chest pains. Okay, someone's like giving themselves 
a fucking migraine at this point. Someone is literally giving themselves a headache at this point because they can't stop overthinking a situation. They can't stop obsessing over this empress or this emperor. They can't stop fucking thinking about a situation. Somebody is just so obsessive. The emperor in the reverse. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. I'm getting strong Virgo here. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo, a Taurus, a Scorpio. Okay, but somebody here just can't get over somebody. And they're holding on to like past pain, past hurt. Somebody here could feel like you wronged them or you ghosted them. You stopped dealing with them. But whoever this is, they were a liar. They were deceptive. They untrustworthy. They disloyal. They're a player. Like this person, I mean, they weren't good to you. So I don't understand why this person is so angry with you. Because you're not dealing with them when they weren't good to you anyway. It's one thing if somebody was really good to you and then you just up and left them. They like, yo, what the fuck? Like, what did I do? You know, that's a whole different situation. That's not the situation that I'm seeing here. You guys, this is somebody that was not good to you. They weren't good to you. They were not good to you. And they have the nerve to be upset, okay? Because you don't want to talk to them. You don't want to deal with them. You have completely disconnected from them. You have completely removed yourself from this person's life. And this person knows that you're never coming back. They said they know you're never coming back. Some of you could be Virgos. You could be dealing with another Virgo. Like I said, I got strong Libra energy here. I got Aries. I got Taurus. I got Leo. I got Aquarius, okay? But somebody here is angry. And what they really mad about is your abundance, that's what they're really mad about. They're mad about your abundance. They're mad about your stability. Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here knows that you on to up and up. You on to rise. Somebody here knows that life is just going to keep getting better and better for you. Wherever you at, whatever position you in right now, when it comes to your stability, your life, it's like you only making more progress. You only leveling up. You're going to keep getting level ups. Somebody here knows for a fact that you're just going to keep getting upgrades. Life is just going to keep getting better and better for you. That's how somebody feel, y'all. Ten of Cups to, to the Ten of Pentacles. Somebody here feel like you're extremely happy. You are unbothered. You unfazed. You don't miss them. You don't care. You're not backtracking. You don't care if you don't ever talk to them again. You don't really want to talk to them again. You have no interest in them. And that this is like really pissing somebody off. I mean, yes, man. We got a Queen of Cups in the reverse here that just refuses to let go. They, I mean, they just... They won't let go. Death in the reverse. Somebody here just refuses to change. They refuse to have an awakening. They refuse to take this uh, situation with you as an experience for them to learn from. It's like somebody here just refuses to think to look at things from a higher perspective. Somebody here refuses to just move the hell on. You've already moved on. You've already moved on, collective. Look at this. The chariot and the six of swords here. You've already moved on. You've already sailed to calmer water. Strong cancer energy. Some of you could be cancers out here. Okay, yes, you walked away. You did what you needed to do. Eight of Cups, the Chariot, the Six of Swords. You sailed to calmer waters. You did what you needed to do. And while you're moving forward and doing what you need to do, this person is like not changing. They're just growing bitter. They're, they're hateful. They have an unforgiving spirit is what I keep hearing. It's, it's like, come on now. Somebody here just don't want to let you go, Empress. They don't want to let you go, Emperor. Okay, I feel like you both are going through similar situations here. But you two are divine. You two could be um, calling in one, in one another, you know. There could be a reconciliation that is about to come into play for you two. But you both are having some mirrored experiences here where people just are bitter and won't let y'all go. People have created their own scenarios in their head about you. It's like somebody here is believing their own lies. Somebody here is so fucking angry with y'all. For reasons that they shouldn't be. Because you're happy. Because you're moving forward. Because you're healing. That's why somebody's upset with you. They know that that makes no fucking sense. You see how crazy that shit sound with me even saying it out loud? So somebody here has to make up a story about you. At, you know, to give it to give a good reason as to why they're mad. You know, somebody here just mad because you walked away from their toxicity. You walked away from their abuse, right? But they are like spinning the narrative like somebody here is like oh the collective fucking hurt me and they abused me or they did this to me or they said this to me and you know and it's like y'all ain't do none of these things somebody here lying on your name all because you don't want to deal with them anymore somebody here is doing all of this because you simply don't want to deal with them anymore 
excuse me, y'all. Let me take this shirt off. I got a lot on right now. Oh, I was feeling real cozy. But yeah, it's like somebody here is feeling like they have to, you know, make you out to be the villain so that it could it could explain <laughs> their anger and hatred that they are like spewing towards you right now. Somebody here is they have like a lot of anger and a lot of hatred right now in their heart for you, Emperor and Empress, okay? And somebody here is going around lying about whatever it is that you could have possibly said or did. And they're doing this so that it will look like their anger and their hate towards you right now is um is reasonable, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's it's not. It's not reasonable. This person is extremely difficult, okay? This person is fucking impossible, if you ask me. This is somebody that is crazy as hell, okay? Yes, a distorted feminine for a lot of you, the Empress in the reverse. And this is the truth, Ace of Swords. This person is talking so much shit about you, Emperor, okay? You could have um, parted ways from a distorted feminine, okay? A false empress, right? This bitch right here. <laughs> For some of y'all, this, yo, she's saying all crazy type of shit about you right now, emperor. I mean, this person going around telling people that you did this, you did that. I'm also hearing that somebody lied and said someone touches children. That's crazy. Like, that's an insane fucking lie to tell about somebody. You could really get somebody in trouble or hurt behind that kind of fucking lie. Like, I mean, it's just a lot going on here. But I just heard that somebody is lying saying that this emperor touches touched a child or touches children. This shit is crazy. And this is why the karma is going to be so bad. Because, like, who lies about shit like that? Like, why would you lie about something like that? You really get somebody hurt or get somebody in trouble, you know? And that's essentially what they want. That's essentially what these karmics want. They want to see you go down. They want to see you get your ass beat. They want to see you get hurt. They want to see you get locked up. And it's like, it's all false, though. It's just false. This is ridiculous. But with the Six of Wands here, I do feel like there's some sort of good news coming in for you, Emperor. There's good news coming in for both you, Emperor and Empress. There's good news coming towards you guys, okay, with the Six of Wands here. And there's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse that's pissed. There could be an Earth sign that's pissed. This is the one that's really doing the magic behind the scenes. Somebody here could have red hair, okay? I just seen a woman with red hair, bright red hair, red hair. Some, something significant about someone with red hair, okay? Well, this person wears red lipstick, but I'm, I'm getting red hair. Something significant about red lipstick or red hair. But um, and somebody here could be a Virgo or or they could have Virgo in their chart. Somebody here could be a Gemini. They could have Gemini in their chart. But this person just toxic. And if this person is not doing the spell work, then they paying for it to be done here. A practitioner could have the red hair or red lipstick. Something significant about red hair or red lipstick. But yeah, somebody here toxic as fuck. The devil energy here. And it's all because you don't want to be with them. Somebody here is also mad because you won't sleep with them no more. You won't touch them. Okay, somebody here is throwing themselves at you and you don't want to sleep with them and they have lost their fucking mind because you don't want to sleep with them. Emperor, Empress, take this as it resonates. This could be happening to your DM. This could be happening to you, Divine Feminine. Take this shit as it resonates. Y'all both going through similar experiences here, I promise you. But somebody here is mad because you don't want to sleep with them. I'm telling you, y'all got somebody here in their fucking feelings right now because you don't want to sleep with them. You rejected them. If you're dealing with a Virgo, this is exactly who I'm talking about. This Virgo just keep coming up. This motherfucker here could just, you know, choke you out. <laughs> you know, you don't want you don't want to sleep with them. You don't want what's between their legs. So, you know, they want to suffocate you and shit. Literally. <laughs> like, this person crazy as hell, y'all. What is this? Foolishness. Somebody here that don't know how to respect the curve. This message is silly, okay? This is silly. Let's get some different energy coming in. Let's try to get some different energy. I don't even want to stay on this for too long. It's just foolishness. A bunch of foolishness, y'all. That's what's in the energy tonight, in case y'all was wondering what was in the energy. That's what's in the energy. But I'm going to try to get a different message for you guys. I'm going to pull from a different deck right now and get a different message, get some more energy in here. Because like I said, it don't make sense for me to stay on that too long because i already see where that's headed i already see where that's going it just looks like a bunch of foolishness <laughs> like it just looks like past people are upset because you don't want to deal with them no more you broke up with them you stop talking to them you stop connecting with them you stop sleeping with them whatever the case may be and they're losing their damn mind and this is all happening to a divine masculine and a divine feminine here 
That's what's going on here. That's really what's going on. <laughs> and I'm not staying on that bullshit because that's exactly what it is. A bunch of foolishness, a bunch of bullshit, a bunch of nonsense. Let's get some different energy coming in. Let's see if we can get some more messages, something else in the energy for y'all tonight. Anything else for the collective tonight? Anything else they may need to know? What messages do you have for the collective tonight? Is there anything else they need to know? Somebody here is worried about some magic backfiring. This shit has already started started to backfire, or somebody knows for a fact that it's about to result in some sort of tower moment for them. Somebody here knows that something is being returned to them. Some sort of manipulation, some sort of magic that they've done, and they're worried about this. Nine of Swords to the Magician Reverse. Somebody here cannot stop thinking about some sort of manipulation or some sort of spell work that they was involved in. Somebody here is really worried about a backfire. I'm telling you. Yeah, that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Somebody here nervous about a backfire. I promise you. That's what's in the energy tonight. Somebody nervous as fuck about some sort of spell work coming back to them. Some sort of negative energy being mirrored back to them. That's what somebody's nervous about. They know for a fact that something is, has backfired. And they are fucking nervous. Somebody here is not even sleeping. I'm hearing that somebody's not sleeping properly. Somebody's not getting enough rest because they're worried. Something about somebody waking up in the middle of the night having cold sweats. It's like somebody here is fucking shaking in their boots. Yeah, somebody here is feeling trapped. They feeling stuck. I'm telling you. High priest is in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. I can't make it up. But somebody here is secretly feeling this way. They're secretly going through this. Collective, whoever this is, they want to talk to you, though. But they don't have access to you. This person is surrounded by chaos and conflict. Somebody here could have wanted that for you. Wanted a lot of conflict and chaos to be following you, to be around you. But now it's around them. This person could just be getting into, like, meaningless, pointless, fucking unnecessary random ass arguments with people it's like what the hell is going on this person got nothing but conflict and chaos surrounding them but i'm getting here that that's a, that's what somebody wanted for you somebody wanted people to just not like you to just look at you and not like you somebody here wanted everybody to hate you everybody to look at you in a negative way and now that shit is being mirrored back to whoever this is strong pisces and aquarius energy here Somebody can have Pisces or Aquarius placements highly aspected in their chart, whether you or them. But I'm telling you, somebody here going through it. I also feel like somebody here is going to make you some sort of offer here. But this is coming from someone you can't trust. Okay? There's an offer here that you can't trust. Okay? There's a decision that you need to make. A serious decision you need to make. Okay, collective. All right. This is coming from a king of wands and emperor here. But I don't feel like you trust this person. This is someone that betrayed you. And they're coming towards you to make you an offer. They're going to tell you that they have left someone. Okay, this is somebody that could have been in a relationship and they could have left someone. They want to talk to you, but it looks like you're walking away in a new direction. Okay, and I feel like you look, you looking and moving in a new direction. You're looking in a new direction. You headed towards a new direction here. With this eight of cups energy you got your back turned towards this person but it's like you have your back turned towards this person because you don't trust them you don't trust them you don't collective i'm seeing here that you do not trust this author you do not trust this person something here where you don't trust this person this is somebody that could be coming towards you with an apology they feel like they owe you an apology okay and you may accept their apology i'm sure you will collective but the cycle's closed out between you and whoever this is. You're walking away from this person. The cycle has closed out. Okay. Clarify the world card here. Eight of Cups. I feel like this person feels like they owe you an apology about something. Or... Yeah, this is somebody that feels like y'all are soulmates. The lovers, they feel like they have to fight for you. They have to fight to save this connection. They feel like you two are very connected here with the lovers card here. They've made a choice to come towards you, apologize to you, come towards you and give you some sort of offer, make some sort of peace offer in here. But like I said, this is somebody that, um, that's too many spirits, <laughs> it's like half the deck. This is somebody that y'all don't trust. Collective, I'm seeing that you don't trust this person. Yeah, you don't trust this person. You feel like this person is very manipulative. 
For some of you, this person did death spells on y'all. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> now, I don't mean to laugh, but like, come on now. You did death spells. I mean, you doing death spells on a collective ain't shit to talk about. Why are you even trying to face somebody that you did death spells on? Uh-uh. Maybe they feel like you don't know. I don't know. Clap about a magician in the reverse here and the death card here, the devil. Yeah, we got the magician reverse here, the death card and the devil. Somebody here doing uh, death magic, death spells. Death rituals and shit. Somebody here very toxic. Somebody here made signed a contract, made a deal with the devil here. And they can't fulfill that shit. And that's why they're worried. Somebody here is worried because they was trying to sacrifice somebody in this situation. And they cannot sacrifice the person that they were trying to sacrifice. And they're worried because the grim reaper, the death angels are here to collect. The devil's here. The devil's still here to collect. And what's so crazy is I'm hearing that the devil knew all along that they couldn't sacrifice this particular person. The devil knew all along that this was somebody that they wasn't going to uh, be able to take. They knew that. The devil knew that. The devil knew this shit from the very beginning. However, they still allowed these people to make this deal. And it's like, okay, well, I'm going to take your soul. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to collect a soul either way. <laughs> you know? Collective, you too strong. And you receiving justice in this situation. I'm telling you, you receiving justice in this situation. Somebody here could not fulfill um, this this uh, sacrifice here when it comes to you. Okay, Emperor, Empress, take it as it resonates. Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. If somebody here made a deal and they said you was going to be the sacrificial lamb. Okay, you was going to be the sacrifice. And somebody here cannot fulfill that. And now they're worried because who's going to fulfill it? Whose soul is going to be taken? I'm hearing multiple souls will be taken. This will not be one death. I'm hearing that this there will be multiple. Uh, multiple. The devil's going to take multiple. If he hasn't already. Yep. If somebody here knows this and they're worried. They don't know who it's going to be. They don't know who's next. What's next? What's going to happen? Shit. I feel like collective, you don't know either. You don't care. You're too busy moving to karma waters. You're showing up as the Empress Collective. There you go. Big E energy, big Empress energy. This cycle has closed out. <clears throat> if this person want to come towards you and apologize like I see they do, then hey, whatever. But this is somebody that y'all don't want nothing to do with. Yeah, you a whole earth angel. That's why this shit was never going to pop. Look how you showing up in the world, man. You got the Empress here and the Temperance. This is earth angel, goddess energy, whole Empress. Temperance, Empress Energy. You a whole earth angel. This shit was never going to work. And there's a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse that is furious. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. This person is in heavy regret. They're disappointed. They're furious. Okay, they're watching you. May want to say something to you. May trying to figure they trying to figure out who they can send towards you. You're protected. Okay, you're protected. You're so protected, collective. This is insane. Your protection is crazy. Collective, those of you that resonate with this message, your protection is out of this world. You hear me? And somebody here knows this because they did a lot. Somebody here did a lot of magic on y'all. Mm -hmm. A lot. But you protect it. And there's a Queen of Swords in reverse that's mad. There's a Queen of Swords in reverse that could be mad at a King of Cups. So there could be an air sign feminine energy that's mad at a water sign masculine. This is the person that's worried. Nine of Swords. They like, yo, what the fuck does that mean for me? Mm -hmm. What have you been sending out? You know, what did you petition? What did you sign? What did you sign up for? What did you, what deal did you make? That's what you have to look forward to. Somebody here is worried because they know they did the most. And they're worried now. Somebody here is pet i'm hearing this person is pet okay this motherfucker is pet they scared somebody is scared they're petrified i'm hearing somebody's petrified yeah man petrified of this tower i'm telling you now the source to the tower somebody here like yo they so nervous this person shitting fucking bricks you hear me bricks they shitting bricks the sun reversed very unhappy and shitting fucking bricks here Somebody here even want to travel or somebody here want to save face and come towards you. Yep, somebody here under heavy judgment. Will of Fortune reverse, getting a lot of karma. King of Swords reverse, getting a lot of karma. There could be two air signs that's getting karma. Somebody here with strong air in their chart. Okay. But we got a King of Swords reverse and a Queen of Swords reverse that is fucking scared. Petrified. Ten of Wands here. Okay, we got a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse that's petrified. 
could be an earth sign, feminine energy, an air sign, masculine, an air sign, feminine. There's multiple people here that's petrified. Somebody here is, is so afraid. But listen, this is why I tell y'all all the time, stop playing and shit. Stop doing shit. You out here doing shit to a whole earth angel, a whole empress. Empress, you got the empress, the temperance, and the queen of cups. You so loving, you so giving, you so nurturing, kind, compassionate. I mean, and somebody really abused their power, really abused their authority. Strong Taurus and Scorpio energy here. Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo. Okay. Capricorn. I mean, this is a mess here. Somebody here about to be fucked. When I tell you somebody here gonna be fucked up, if they not already, they gonna be fucked up and they know it. And like I said, they can't even sleep at night. Somebody's shitting bricks. Somebody's shitting bricks. Big bricks, okay? Like, I'm getting the massive bricks, okay? Big, big fucking bricks. Somebody is shitting right now. Listen, that's the energy that's in the collective tonight. Y'all know, y'all got people fucking with y'all that wish they would have never fucked with you. I'm here when they wish they never would have fucked with you collective. Hey, it is what it is. All right, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Have a great night. Peace.